okay. I didn't feel comfortable being myself. I was like, had this guard on. I, I didn't really necessarily want to look for a change, but I was just, I guess, thinking about things that I needed to do to get out. And my dad's from Austria, and he always offered when I was younger to, to go to Austria to learn German, because he always regrets not teaching me when I was a kid. I think I approached him one day when we were eating dinner and was like, what would I have to do if I were to go to Austria for a year? I think that was very surprising to him. He was very excited. <laughs> We started planning, and I remember in the process he told me if I did this, I would have to not back out because that was a common trend of mine. And so at the time, I was like, I've made that promise now. And then it was like around the end of summer, and I was about to leave for Austria. But it still didn't quite feel real, I guess, because my dad ended up coming with me to help me figure things out. So we went to visit the, the city that I was going to go. And then a couple weeks later, he left. And I think that's when things really kicked in. I felt pretty alone. I was going to uh, this German intensive class at the time, but I didn't really connect with anybody like any of my friends back home. But I remember one night I went out with one of my friends from German class and we were going to this free museum night. She had brought her friend Priam and me and Priam just like hit it off real well. I feel fairly comfortable immediately around her. She told me at the end of the night, she was like, oh, I have this friend, this friend Hannah. She lives here, she's Austrian, but she's also half American too. I think that was the beginning of me finding some comfort in this really unknown place. From that point on, it just kind of went uphill and I had these two friends that I felt really close with. We would make food and talk. It was really good for a while. Right before I had gone to Austria, my dad had asked me if I wanted to come back in the winter for Christmas. And at that time I said, yes, like I wanted to come back. And so I got home and I was really happy to see everybody. And I felt very like good about everything. And then when I had to leave to go back to Austria, I didn't want to because I had come back to this place where I was like totally capable in every sense. I actually tried to extend my like my leaving date. I didn't want to leave, I like tried to, and then my dad confronted me and he's like, why are you trying to leave later? And I was like, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I feel as though I've, I've grown as a person and I went through a really scary, <laughs> intimidating thing and it's not something that I regret, and I think that that really helped me become a more self-aware self, self -aware person and who I, I think I really am. 